Chapter 24 This is how Aaron's descendants, the priests, were divided into groups for service. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father did, and they had no sons. So only Eleazar and Ithamar were left to carry on as priests. With the help of Zadok, who was a descendant of Eleazar, and Ahimelech, who was a descendant of Ithamar, David divided Aaron's descendants into groups according to their various duties. Eleazar's descendants were divided into sixteen groups, and Ithamar's into eight, for there were more family leaders among the descendants of Eleazar. All tasks were assigned to the various groups by means of sacred lots, so that no preference would be shown for there were many qualified officials serving God in the sanctuary from among the descendants of both Eleazar and Ithamar. Shemaiah, son of Nathanael, a Levite, acted as secretary and wrote down the names and assignments in the presence of the king. Zadok the priest, Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, and the family leaders of the priests and Levites. The descendants of Eleazar and Ithamar took turns casting lots. The first lot fell to Jehoiarib, the second lot fell to Jedeiah, the third lot fell to Harim, the fourth lot fell to Siorim, the fifth lot fell to Melchijah, the sixth lot fell to Majamin, the seventh lot fell to Hekos, the eighth lot fell to Abijah, the ninth lot fell to Jeshua, the tenth lot fell to Shechaniah, the eleventh lot fell to Eliashib, the twelfth lot fell to Jakim, the thirteenth lot fell to Hupa, the fourteenth lot fell to Jeshabiah. The fifteenth lot fell to Bilga, the sixteenth lot fell to Imir, the seventeenth lot fell to Hazir, the eighteenth lot fell to Hapizez, the nineteenth lot fell to Pethahiah, the twentieth lot fell to Jehezkel, the twenty-first lot fell to Jakin, the twenty-second lot fell to Gamul, the twenty-third lot fell to Deleiah, the twenty-fourth lot fell to Meaziah. Each group carried out its duties in the house of the Lord according to the procedures established by their ancestor Aaron in obedience to the commands of the Lord, the God of Israel. These were the other family leaders descended from Levi. From the descendants of Amram, the leader was Shibuel. From the descendants of Shibuel, the leader was Jedeiah. From the descendants of Rehabiah, the leader was Ishiah. From the descendants of Ishar, the leader was Shelomith. From the descendants of Shelomith, the leader was Jehath. From the descendants of Hebron, Jeriah was the leader. Amariah was second in command. Jehaziel was third, and Jechemiam was fourth. From the descendants of Uziel, the leader was Micah. From the descendants of Micah, the leader was Shemir, along with Ishiah, the brother of Micah. From the descendants of Ishiah, the leader was Zechariah. From the descendants of Merari, the leaders were Malai and Mushai. From the descendants of Jeaziah, the leader was Bino. From the descendants of Merari through Jeaziah, the leaders were Bino, Shoham, Zikr, and Ibrai. From the descendants of Malai, the leader was Eleazar, though he had no sons. From the descendants of Kish, the leader was Jaramil. From the descendants of Mushai, the leaders were Malai, Eder, and Jeremoth. These were the descendants of Levi in their various families. Like the descendants of Aaron, they were assigned to their duties by the means of sacred lots, without regard to age or rank. It was done in the presence of King David, Zadok, Ahimelech, and the family leaders of the priests and the Levites.